Hi, this is Kevin Chisholm, and in this video I'll be talking about the difference between scope and context in JavaScript. So let's first talk about scope. In a nutshell, scope pertains to the visibility of variables. It's really quite that simple. So I'm going to paste this code in here, and in this example we have created a global variable called color. We also have a function called test, and test tries to return the variable color. And then we have a console log output that will output the value, the return value of the executed test function. So when we run it, we should get red in the console. And we do. The reason why that works is because in this function, when the return statement tries to reference a variable named color, it can see this variable color because color is in the global scope. And functions can always see variables that are de that are defined outside of themselves. So since this variable color is global, this output statement works. Let me just close the browser and restart it and we'll look at the next example. So in this example, we have another function called test, but we create a private variable. So color is private to the function test. It doesn't exist to the outside world. We execute test, and then we have this console statement that tries to output color, but it should return undefined. And that's, in fact, exactly what happens. And the reason is because in the global scope, which is here, the variable color is undefined because color is private to this function. So when we go to execute this line, color is undefined. So let's do one more example of scope. Okay, so once again we have this variable test and once again we do create a private variable named color, but we return that variable. So when we output, we have our console log statement, it's going to put in the console the, the return value of test. And since test returns color, then we should get red in the console. And we do. So the point here is that scope refers to the visibility of variables in JavaScript. That's it. People say sometimes it has to do with objects or methods. It doesn't. It has to do with the visibility of variables and that's it. A variable is either in scope or it's not and functions in general can always see variables that were declared outside of themselves but you can never see inside of a function. That's how scope works. Okay, let's talk about context now. In JavaScript, context means the object to which a method belongs. So when you have an object, and that object has a property that's a function, then that function is called a method. And the context of that method is the object to which it is a property or to which it belongs. Let's look at these two examples. This is uh, There are two objects here. One's called obja and one's called objb. And they both have a name property. Obviously, they both they differ a little bit in their name properties. They both have a same name method, which is a, identical. The same name method alerts the name property of that object. But instead of putting alert obja.name here, I just put alert this.name. The this keyword is super critical. This pertains to the object to which the method belongs. So say name or a obja dot say name is a method of obja. So inside of say name, this refers to obja, and obja does have a name property. It's right here. So this alert will output obja. So if we run obja dot say name, we should get an alert that says obja, and we do. So then, if we were to run objb, we should get objb, and we do. So the reason for that is that, in both cases, that method runs in the context of a specific object. So say name is running in the context of obja. So this 
refers to the object. So in both cases, we say alert this dot name because of the the context is what tells the method what this means. Now this starts to make a little bit more sense or become a little more interesting when you use something called the apply method. The apply method in JavaScript allows you to change the context of a method. So I'm just going to refresh the page here. Okay, so here we're going to say obja.sayName, so that's this method right here, which should alert obja, apply to objb. So what we're saying is, take this method obja.sayName and make it think it's executing in the context of this object, or make it think it belongs to objb. It doesn't, but we're going to do it on the fly. So normally obja.sayName would output obja, but instead, since we're applying it to the object objb, it's going to output objb, and it does. So the point here is that we changed the context of obja.sayName. We made obja.sayName think it was executing in the context of objb. So context refers to the object to which a JavaScript method belongs. Scope and context are not the same thing. Scope pertains to the visibility of variables, whereas context pertains to the object to which a method belongs.